Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm gonna try to give us a love personal reading right now. For the collective. Let's try to make it personal. Holy Spirit, holy angels, make it personal for the collective spirit. As personal as possible. Give everybody a reading right now. <laughs> this is everybody's reading, right? Let's see if it resonates. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's see. Wouldn't it be crazy if it did? Holy Spirit, holy angels. You deserve love and you are lovable. The angels need you to know that. It says very soon. So you need to decide what it is that you want. Clearly decide now so that it comes to you guys. Manifest it in. Think with positivity. If you want that person, say you want that person. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So whoever you're thinking about, they're probably thinking about you too. And Spirit said those feelings are real. So explore them, guys. This is a past life relationship. You've known each other before. You know this person. You've known this person. You know this person. Mm-hmm. Who is this person, spirit? Let's see. Past life relationship. What do I want to go with? Give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, I think I'm going to do an urban brick. Because y'all had a past life connection with me. Something went down back then, right? Something went down. I'm coming, guys. I'm just unorganized right now. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. So what went down in this past life relationship, past life connection? Y'all know each other before. Y'all hung around before. But this person wants to come back. Y'all both have romantic feelings towards each other. Spirit, what happened in the past? It may not matter today and then again. It may. Y'all may be still in discussions about it. So what, were the, what are these discussions, Spirit? What happened in the past? Somebody is saying, what did you expect for me to do? Because you were busy doing you. Right? You were busy doing you. Having fun, living your life. Dating other people, doing whatever it was. And it says, you were a good girl. I took advantage of your kindness. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So this person feel like they took advantage of you. Maybe you was really nice to them. Maybe they felt you was gullible. Our connection is like a book. It just keeps going and going. Okay. And that's why it's a past life relationship. Y'all keep entering each other's lives. Like every couple of years, you see each other again, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's put some tarot on this, guys. Let me get y'all. Make it personal, Spirit. What did you expect for me to do? They say you were busy doing you. I guess you there, you weren't giving this person the time of the day back then, but this person's coming back, and you know who it is. Right? You know who it is. Everybody got one, I guess. If you don't, get you one. <laughs> you better get you somebody that just can't get over you. I mean, we don't want a, a crazy person, but you know, it's nice to be loved and wanted, right? Not that you want them, but hey, oof. You don't want them to be crazy and deranged over you, though. Holy Spirit, what's going on here? This person, this is five of swords in reverse. They don't want to fight with you anymore. They made a decision about something. A decision was made. Okay, so they're coming out of Herman. A decision was made. Spirit, what is this? decision was made wow so this person put an ending to something and now they want to come and give you their ace of cups mm -hmm. they sure do they want to come and give it to you they want this new beginning 
with you. There we go. So this person, they want to come in now. They have a changed mind. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, they want to try this again. Tell us more about this person's spirit and their energies. Oh, they're feeling mighty strong, guys. They're standing in their power. Half man, half lion. They're holding back a little bit. Spirit is telling them to go for it, though. And the reason why they're holding back is because of this high priestess here. This could be a karmic or maybe their third eye is just not open. They're not using their intuition. You know, they're not following their first thought. If it's a karmic, it'll come out. They are putting an ending to something. Yeah, it's a karmic. Queen of Cups in reverse. unloving person so that's why this person is moving on and that's what this ending is with the, the ending is with this queen of cups here fell out right on top of it and, and with the hermit here with the high priestess right on top of it he was waking up to all the shenanigans that this queen of cups was doing so here he is wanting to offer you this ace of cups now because he had this ending he wants these new beginnings and he's moving in fast like the knight of wands Coming in fast. And seven of wands in reverse. Seven of swords in reverse. So he says he's not going to go back to where he came from. He's not going back there. All right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Just put some love jones on this. If they can get to you, what's going to happen, Spirit? Their intentions seem well, right? If they can get to you. They said, you are my best friend. This person feel like they saved the best for last. Some battles aren't worth the fight. They don't want to fight with you anymore. I told you that there. And they're looking forward to many sunrises and sunsets together. So this person is basically saying it's going to happen. And Spirit told you you need to decide what it is that you want. Because this person's coming in. Final three, Spirit. Final three cards. Yeah, this person's waking up. Eight of Swords. The tower has fallen. Whatever was going on and whoever they was with, it has fallen and they've been watching you. They've been watching you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've been watching you because they want to offer you this Two of Cups, guys. He's been thinking long and hard about it. King of Swords energy. And he's not afraid anymore. He's not going to stop himself. Eight of swords in reverse. Nothing's going to hold him back this time, guys. That's what he says. Or she says. Somebody's not going to hold themselves back. They're coming. They're walking away from that karmic or whoever they was with. Their ex. They're no longer, they're no longer celebrating with that person. Boundaries have been set and put in the way. And from the looks of it, they cut that person out their life. So they may be serious this time, guys. Look like they may be serious, right? They're always serious. This person has healed from a breakup, or they have healed, but they thinking about you. Nine of Pentacles. They don't want to juggle you no more. I guess they were all up in their head about you, but they figured out what they want, right? They're not up in their head anymore, and here they come. Eight of Wands, they're coming to talk to you. This past person is coming to talk to you, and they're going to tell you that they love you, and they're going to tell you that they want this Ten of Cups with you. And they're going to tell you that they ended whatever they were in. And this is the Chariot in Reverse, but I guess this is them saying nothing's going to stop them. Nothing's going to stop them from coming this time, guys. All right, so that is your reading. You deserve love, and you don't have no regrets. None. Not a one. I'm not going to keep pulling. He's a magician. He's manifesting this. He ended a Ten of Pentacles. He ended a situation. He did. He's coming in with proposals, guys. Oh, I can't stand it. 
five of wands, a lot of people in the way. But that's okay, guys. Somebody from your past is coming back. So Spirit said you need to decide what you're going to do. Are you going to let them in or not? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.